I had a husband that thought he was going to try to physically intimidate me. We didn't date long before we got married. It was probably about, I don't know, five or six months and we got married at the Justice of the Peace. It was a few months after we had gotten married and um, I had been a business owner at that time for about, I wanna say like three or four years. I wasn't making great money, but I was definitely pulling in more than six figures. Well, one day he made a remark that he just didn't understand what I did for work. Like he knew I made money, but he wasn't quite sure exactly how I was doing it. All he knew per his words was that I was on the computer all the time and I talked to a lot of clients. Well, he asked me what I was doing one day and I was kind of in the middle of trying to make a decision for my business. Um, we had just a little bit of an issue and I was gathering data to, to try to make the best decision possible, you know? And, you know, he asked me about it and I gave him some of the details and he was like, well, maybe you should do X, Y, and Z. And I said, well, hmm, I'll, you know, I'll think about that. I'm not quite sure um, what direction we'll go in because I don't have all the information I need right now. But yeah, I'll, I'll take that into consideration. Well, a few weeks later, he walks into the room that I'm working in and, you know, we get to talking and then he was like, hey, you know, did you ever solve that issue? And I was like, yeah, you know, we worked it out and everything is okay now. And he was like, well, what did you decide to do? And I told him what I had decided to do. And all of a sudden his whole demeanor changed. And me, you know, noticing that the air had kind of changed, right? I was like, you know, are you okay? What's going on? What's, you know, basically what's wrong with you? And he was just, you know, like, I thought I told you to do X, Y, Z. And I was kind of confused because, you know, I felt like he gave me his suggestion. But at the end of the day, it's my business um, and I own it. <laughs> so... Uh, I thought, you know, I had to do what I had to do. And he got all upset and told me that, you know, as my husband, um, I should trust him to make the decisions. And if I wasn't going to allow him to lead, then I, you know, need to reconsider being his wife, right? So me... Remembering just a couple of weeks ago when he told me that he didn't even understand what I did for work or how I made my money or, you know, how I ran my business, I was a bit confused. Because please tell me how you all of a sudden become the CEO of somebody else's business that was already established before you showed up and you don't even know what they do. So even still, I tried to, you know, let him down nice because, you know, a man's ego being bruised is not good for anybody, right? But the more I talked or the more I said and the more I tried to, you know, soften the blow for him, um, the more upset he got. And I was so confused and I was just like, you know, you remember a couple of weeks ago when you told me you didn't really understand exactly what I did. I was like, I don't understand how we go from there to now you make the decisions in my business. And this man got up from where he was sitting and I was sitting down and he was sitting on the bed across from me and I was sitting on a little bench. He got up and walked over and stood over top of me like, and I was sitting down and I'm looking up with him like, <laughs> and then when I realized what it was, I just kind of laughed a little bit, just. <laughs> and this is what I said to him. I said, you know what? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what it is that you're doing right now, but if it's your way of trying to intimidate me, or if you're about to put your hands on me, just do me a favor and make sure that if you hit me, I don't get back up. Because if I get back up, if I get back up from you putting your hands on me, don't sleep, don't eat anything I cook, 
do you will never be able to feel comfortable around me ever again. <laughs> So when I say that Leo women being so ambitious need to be especially careful of the men that they deal with, I am very, very, very serious because there are men out there that will see your accomplishments and see everything that you've built and they will feel threatened by it. And before you come in the comments and say, well, no, oh, man, we know it's not all men, but it's enough of them to have this conversation. So be careful and make sure you choose very, very wisely.